Very good. Okay. Um, let's take a look at here a few words that can trip us up. Small. 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 Okay. Smell. 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 All L. L. Small. Smell. 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 Yes. Smell. So this is talking about a house. So we know small house. Uh, uh, what else in here? I saw this. This word comes up a lot, and we need to pronounce it very clearly. So, pay. 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 Everyone. Pay. 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 Muhammad. Pay. 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 Yes. Pa pa pa. So it doesn't sound like bay. No. Pay the pay rent. That. Yeah. Pay the rent. Pay the rent. House. Rent and now pay. Yes. Pay the rent for your apartment, for your house, for your car, anything. Pay. Um, <clears throat> something else here I wanted to show you. I like, I like it. I like it. It's so much. So much. When we say I liked it so much, that means extra like. You liked it a lot. So, for example, I might use that um, in this way. I went to a restaurant last night. I liked the food so much, I'm going to go back tonight. So much. That means a lot. That's an expression. Um, there was something else in here. Happy. 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 So let's take a look here at some questions. And uh, um, Bakil, question number one. Can you read question one for us? For each question, circle the letter of the correct cor cor correct correct answer. Okay. Answer. Why did Ahmed need? The new house. She why? Knows. So when we have why, reason. Question. Okay. His house was too small. Okay. How do you know? What does it say in the story that his house was too small? I need a small house. The first time. It says there. I lived in a small house. Small house, fine, it's good. But then the next line, I needed. Four bedrooms. I needed. Bigger yard. More room. Four bedrooms. I needed more room, which means the house was too small. So it's telling us we have to figure out. The house is small, but maybe you like a small house. But it says, I needed more room. That's the key. That's the one right there. Uh, number two, Basim. How many bedrooms does the new house have? It has four bedrooms. 
Okay, that's right from the story. It says it has four bedrooms. Uh, Wilson, number three. Where is the house? Can you find that? In the third line it says, it was far from my work. Okay. And Nadine, number four. What? Louder. He got a second job. Yes. What does afford mean? Afford. What does that mean? Afford. Have enough money. Yes, afford. Um, let's go down here and read the chart. And um, on the bottom, these are expressions. These are used a lot. Look at the bottom. It says, how much is the rent? Do we see that? Yeah. That means how much money is the rent. How much are the flowers? That means how much money are the flowers? Um, notice rent, singular. No S. Flowers, more than one, S. The next one, where is the apartment? Where are the apartments? Is and are. Singular. Okay. Singular and plural. Yeah. What kind of home is for rent? What kinds of homes are in the neighborhood? Down at the bottom, information words. How much money do you have? How much do you have? Where do you live? What kind of home do you have? What kind of homes do you have? How many bedrooms does it have? Have and do you have? Okay, let's kind of remember these and let's go to the next page, turn over the page, and you will see you have three choices, and in this case they want you to bubble in, fill in the circle. So the first one is done for us, so let's, uh, on, on the second page, Muhammad, on second page, page 45, turn your page over. Do you have it? Yes. Number one, read that for us. Number one, how much uh, the car, how much... Uh, uh, they picked one for you. What's the word they chose? Uh, uh, Number one. Is there's the car, oh, how much is the car? Nope. Uh, Look again. How much are the car? How much are? Cars. cars. Okay, how much are the cars? Yes. Oh, how so, in this set, they're trying to see if you remembered is or are.
How much? Are the cards. Are the cards. Okay. Uh, so we have to decide which one, the first one, second one, third one. Okay, so the second one is circled in. Uh, number two, we're done. Number two, can you read that for us? Apartment. Yes. Apartment. 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 Appointment. 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 Yes. This will come up a lot. Apartment. Both of these will. When you go to the doctor, they'll say, do you want to make appointment. an appointment? Appointment. When we are talking about housing, we are looking for apartment. an apartment. Very good. Uh, back up here, number three, Bushra. Where are you sleeping? Number three? Yes. Where are you sleeping? What do you think? Do you Where sleep? sleep? Where do you sleep? Where are you sleep? No. Do you Where do you, do you sleep? Oh. Number three. Where are you working? Notice. I am. Okay. You have that R, you have to have the ING. So if I want to know about your work, I say, Where do, where you, do work? you work? Place. Where do you sleep? Place. Place. Home. Where are you working? Working. So that was that would be if you use the ing. So number two, where do you or number three, where do you sleep? Yeah. That means every day. I sleep in my bed. I sleep at home. Number four, um, go ahead, Nora. How many cars do you have? Very good. Cars. Cars. Plural. Okay, number uh, five, Safa. Uh, how much? How much uh, are you need? Do you need? Do you need? How much do you need? Which one? Are, is, or do? Do. How much do you, how much do you need? Do you? Yes. How much do you need? How much money do you need? Number six, Safa. What kind of cars are in the garage? Gra very good. Are in the garage. Okay. Allah, number seven. What, what kind of sofa is you need? Do you need? Do you need? Yes. 
Okay, back up here. Okay. Up here. Number eight. Where Number is the TV? Where is, where is the TV? Let's see if we can do a matching here. You want to start number one? Yeah. Where is is the chair? In the bedroom? In the bedroom. Do the next one also. How much is the house? 175,000. Excellent. Okay, next one, Lutva. Where do you live? In the Fullerton. In Fullerton. Fullerton. Of a part kind of what kind of home is on Plum Avenue? Well, and uh, uh, uh. what kind of home is on Plum Avenue? Plum. 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 Palm. 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 Number three. Number three. Number three. Condominium. Condominium. Yes. Number five. How many beds do you have? Seven. 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 Very good. Let's go over here, Nadia. Number one. What kind of home do you have? Now, I want you to answer this for yourself. If I ask you, what kind of home do you have? What would you say? A big house. Like a house. 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 So your home here in Hamtramck is probably a house or an apartment. an apartment. If you lived in other places, you might say a condominium. Many people live in condominiums. But you live here in Hamtramck House. You probably live in a house and maybe an apartment. Um, Islam number two. Number one. Number two. Where do you go to school? That's for you to answer. Where do you go to school? I go to school in Horizon. Hamtram. At the library or Horizon at Horizon? In Hamtram. In Hamtram, yeah. Either one is good. Number three. Here's a good one. Different answers. Different answers for this. Mohammed, read number three. How many uh, bedrooms? Uh, wait. Brothers. 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 How many brothers and sisters do you have? Me. Everyone. How many do you have? Four brothers, three sisters. I have That's one how many? Eight. Eight. How many? Ten. 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 I have one so when it says how many sister. brothers and sisters means all together. All together. And then the next one, uh, Bakil. How many bedrooms does your home have? Five bedrooms. Count them. How many bedrooms? Three. Five. Three. Five. Ooh, big house. 
Anybody have 10 bedrooms? <laughs> My daughter has no bedrooms. What? What's that called? Has no bedrooms. Why? New word for you. She's leaving the motel. Studio apartment. Yes. One room, everything. 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 Bedroom, kitchen, kitchen, living room, and then bathroom. bathroom. Studio apartment. So they have kitchen over here, bedroom back there. It's one big room. One. Studio, Studio apartment. That will come up later on here. Um, <clears throat> all right. Take this with you. Hang on to this. I may ask you to bring it back on some at some point. And we're going to switch gears. We may need to share, in fact, I think we will, on page 132. Dictionary? The dictionary book. Let's get the page right. No, 142. 142. We will need to share. Don't have enough books. 142. Everyone have one to look on? Page one, four, two. One, four, two. Book. Uh, they have a different book. Who has it? Uh, Who has the wrong? Yeah. Does someone have a different book? One, four, two. Uh-oh, now I gave away my book. On page 142, you'll see the big word up here at the top is this one. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Um, remember we talked about uh, the word symbol, a sign or letter that tells us something? The symbol for pharmacy is this. Rx. Rx. If you see that symbol, Rx, it refers to, it means pharmacy. Another name for pharmacy. Drug. 
drugstore. Um, most places like to use the term drugstore, or use the word term pharmacy, because when they say drugstore, they think about, oh, drugs, that's bad. So they use the word pharmacy. But uh, what we're talking about are, in a pharmacy, are certain kinds of drugs for medicine. Um, they're showing you some pictures and uh, some names that we want to make sure we understand. Uh, so the first one is a tablet. Do we see the word tablet? Yes. The tablet, if you look at the picture, that tablet is round. It doesn't have to be round. But usually a tablet is something that is, uh, has a line down the middle and you can cut it in half. You can break it apart so you have two halves, a tablet. The next one, a capsule. And a capsule is a inside a container. And if you take it apart, it spills out. Usually when you have a tablet, it will tell you, take a half tablet, take a full tablet, but a capsule, you take the whole thing and swallow it. Next one is a pill. A pill. That picture you have um, on there is that orange thing. It looks like a bar of soap, but it's a pill. When you go to the pharmacy and they tell you, take one tablet, take two capsules. If they don't look like these, they're giving you something, something that's wrong. So you need to check that out. Number four. Prescription. Prescription medicine. Do we all see prescription medicine? What is a prescription? Who gives you the prescription? Doctor. The doctor. Prescription. Prescription. The next word is pharmacist. Pharmacist. Who is that? Nurse. Well, close. It's a medical person. Pharmacist. The pharmacist is the medical person at the pharmacy, pharmacy or drugstore. <coughs> the doctor gives a prescription and you take it to the pharmacist. pharmacist. They are trained Drug with, with yes. Mm -hmm. And they give you a prescription for medicine. A pharmacist has a special license. You go to school to be a pharmacist. Hey, come in, Mohammed, how are you? Er, um, Abdullah. Kobe Muhammad. Uh, I have another book, maybe. Uh, can you give him one? Okay. Um, we're on page 142, 43. Um, next one is 
Over the counter medication. What is that? You don't need a pre prescription. You can take from the shelf. Over the counter? Yes. Over the counter means no prescription needed. You can take it off the shelf and buy it at the drugstore, at the grocery store, medicines that you do not need a pharmacist. The next one. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. What is that? Syrup. The liquid medicine for the cough. What is a syrup? Liquid. It's a liquid. Usually thick and usually has some flavor to make it taste okay. So this is a syrup for people with a cough. Yeah. Um, next one. Antacid. I need to take this off so that I can show you something with this. Antacid. Antacid. This, the words at the front mean against. Antacid means it gets rid of acid. Do you know what acid is in your stomach? In your stomach you get too much acid and you feel not good. So you take an antacid and it gets rid of the acid. Antacid. Um, antacid. Usually tablet or a liquid that you take. The most common one is something called Tums, T-U-M-S, over-the-counter antacid. Number nine. Throat lozenge. Throat lozenge. What is a lozenge? Like candy. Like candy, but you don't, you let it sit in your throat. And if your throat is a little bit sore, you let it sit in the back of your tongue and it slowly makes your throat feel a little better. Throat lozenge. A lozenge for your throat. Next one is cough, cough drops. drops. Cough drops. Do we all know cough drops? Yeah. What are cough drops? Candy lozenges. Like a lozenge, but they look like candy. Cough drop, and cough. then you suck on them. Makes you feel better if you have a cough. Cough, yes. cough drops. Um, inhaler. Number 11. Inhaler. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Inhaler. What is it for? Uh, asthma people. Asthma. asthma. Inhaler. That's the little, that's the little. The smoke. Uh, it's like a smoke. Yeah, that comes in. It's a vapor. Not a smoke, but a vapor. Um, if you go to the doctor and the doctor says they put a stethoscope on your back or your chest, they say, inhale. <sighs> exhale. <sighs> inhale, air going in. Exhale, going out. out. In and out. So this is an inhaler is for special 
medicine to go into your lungs. A few more, we're gonna go down to 16 and then stack with this one today. Number 12. Nose spray? Nasal. Nasal. You got it. Nose spray. Nasal. Mm. Nose. Decongestant. Decongestant. Congested means stuffed up. You can't. You're tight. All tight, yes. Mm. I have one in the house. You have one at home? <laughs> Nas me too. Nasal decongestant. Once again, this word at the beginning means down, D-E, makes the congestion go away, decongestant. Eye drops? Eye drops, do we know eye drops? Yeah. Drops for the eyes, eye drops. Sometimes uh, they call these liquid tears. So like when you, your water, water from your eyes, tears, this you can put them in a bottle and you let them drop into your eye. Um, here's a good one. And this treatment. Here's this ant again, means against. Antihistamine. It means if you have something that's swollen, for example, a bee sting, if you have a bad sinus infection, it makes the swelling go down. Antihistamine. Two more, then we'll do something else here. Prescription. We talked about that. Prescription. And that's the paper that the doctor gives you. Um, that is the actual paper. The paper is your prescription. It tells you what kind of prescription medicine you want. And the last one is warning label. Warning label. What is a warning label? bottle of water. Here's the label. Warning label means it tells you something to be careful. So for example, here. This is a board cleaner for cleaning my board. Here's my warning label. It says, combustible. What does that mean? <coughs> combustible. It means it can burn. I could, if this is on something with fire, it could burn. For example, in your house, you may have a bottle of alcohol to clean things that can burn will go on fire. 
combustible. It also says here, may be harmful if swallowed. What does swallow mean? Drink. Yes. And then it says, <coughs> eye irritant. What does that mean? Make your eyes burn. So they gave me this, but I don't use it. I don't like it. Um, I just use an eraser. But that's a warning label. No. We were talking about, um, here's another one, hand sanitizer. This has ethyl alcohol in it, which means that it can burn your skin with too much. So here's the warning on here. It says external use only. What does that mean? Outside. Outside your body. Don't swallow it. Flammable. Flammable means flame. What is a flame? Fire. Yes. That one said combustible, which means it burns. This one says flammable. Same idea. Flammable. It says, keep away from heat or flame. Then it says, do not use on children less than two months of age. Babies, you don't use this. These are warning labels. Yeah. So that's what I want to finish this one up before we start a new sheet. Okay, we're going to start with the medicine, and we're going to say, uh, do we all know Tylenol? Yeah. Yes. Everyone? Yeah. <clears throat> Tylenol. Why do people, excuse me, why do people use Tylenol? Why? Okay. Pain or fever. That's what it's for. We take Tylenol for pain or for fever. Tylenol is an effective treatment for pain, 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 and, fever. pain and fever. That's what you would take it for. You take it to make your fever go down, you make your pain go away. That's what you want. But many medicines, medications or medicines have Side effects. side effects. Remember yesterday we talked about the word side, side dish, yeah. something extra. It's not your main thing, but it's something off to a side dish, something extra. But with medications, medications may have a side effect. Side effect. Which means that some people take it for this, but it can do something else. So for example, what are some of the things, I shouldn't have used Tylenol because that's a pretty common one, but if you take medication for uh, a bad cold, what are some of the side effects? Dizziness. 
effect? Yes, the side effect. Dizziness. Handwriting is getting bad here. Drowsiness means sleepy. Um, so these are side effects, things that medications may give you that you don't want, but it happen, It may or may not happen. So we always look at a medication to see what are the side effects so that you know if you take a medication and you don't feel right, it might be from the medication. Some people, when they take Tylenol, have ringing in their ears. They can hear, mm. it's a side effect of the medication side effect. Um, you good with this? Most medications that are prescription medications have side effects. And if you take medication and your doctor tells you to take it, you should say, are there any side effects? Is it going to bother my stomach? Is it going to make me feel sleepy? Especially if you have a job where you have to pay attention, like driving. And if you take medication that makes you sleepy when, you're dry, when you drive, that's a problem. Um, okay, let's uh, switch gears here to Take one, pass one. Okay, you good? We're going to go from drugs to food. Pharmacy to food. Okay, let's take a look here on page, uh, what is it, 6, 18, yeah, 18. <laughs> we want the side that has um, on here containers and portions.
The container is what we call uh, what we call the thing that something goes in. So, for example, what kind of container is this? Box. Bottom. Bottom. Portions are how much? Cup, slice, gallon, great, quart, quart, dozen. dozen. What is a dozen? Twelve pieces, one dozen. Twelve is a dozen is 12 yeah. so if I said I want a dozen eggs it's 12. I want a dozen donuts it doesn't matter what it tells you 12 I have a big family I have a dozen kids no. what <laughs> it's a big family yeah um, so let's take a look here on page uh, containers and portions up at the top and uh, let's go back uh, Mohammed read up at the top the first line I have to get you yeah. to do some reading please? yep please uh, or, ton, carton carton Curtain of eggs and as and the refrigerator. 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 Excellent. One more time. A carton. A carton of eggs as and the refrigerator. 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 You did it. Refrigerator. Okay. Oh, you got it. You nailed it. That's good. Okay, that's an important. That's my favorite, that's my favorite place in the house, the refrigerator, because it's got all the food. Uh, so uh, next one, we're done. Very good. Uh, let's go back up here, Nadine. Okay, Wilson. Very good. And keep going, Basim. A slice of pizza, uh, a loaf of bread. Okay, Bakil. Piece of uh, pork. A piece of what? Of cake. Excellent. A cup. Of coffee. Excellent. And Mohammed? I do absorb all of food. Wait, wait, again? I do absorb. What kind of soup? I do. Bowl. A bowl of, a bowl of soup. A bowl of food. A, a plate of a food. A plate of food. Very good. And down next to Abdullah at the bottom? I sleep. A what? Yes. Slice. 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 Yes. I sleep. No, two. Two slices. Two dollars. No. No. 
I have two sides of this very fourth block. Okay. One slice. One slice. One slice. Two, two slices. Slices. Abdullah. One slice, two slices. 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 Got it. Us. Slices. Slices. And you see that ES. Two We have to remember these words because they show up in other words. What's this word? Lice. 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 Slice. Lice. 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 Sound it out. And now it's winter, so you better get ready for this. Ice. Ice. It's not really winter, but it's cold. Ice. I-C-E. Ice. Who remembers? Lice, yeah, Lice. we remember. Yes, little bugs in the kid's hair. Hmm. Lice. Uh, what is a slice of pizza? Piece. One piece. A piece, pizza. yes. That's going to be our next thing right here. This word. Peace, spice. Peace. 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 Same sound. Different spelling. Different meaning. Different meaning. One piece of one piece of toast. One piece of pizza. One piece of dessert. What's this one? Peace. Fruits. Peace. It means everyone is good. Oh, okay. No fighting. Yeah. We want peace. No fighting. Peace. Peace. Same sound. Um, let's go down here to the bottom. Uh, in part A, look on part A, you will see that there is a box. In there it has carton. Bottle, package, box, jar, and bag. Here in the United States, when you go to the store, these things that you buy are usually go with these words. So for example, we say, I need a bottle of water. If I want the whole thing full of water, we'd say, I need a case of water. They don't give us that word here, but it tells us what kind of a container things come in. So I'm going to give you a, a part A, and we'll go through these together. The first one um, we'll start up here in uh, Islam, we do number one, or the example. Example first. On part A. Example. A jar of mustard. A jar of mustard. A jar of mustard. What is a jar? Jar. 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 Yep. Glasses, little container. A small container, usually small.